Hey guys, Lena here, bringing you another guide for Dying Light the following. Today, we're going to be looking for the key card for military crates and all of the military crate locations. Now, there are five military crates, all of them locked. You need one key card for all five crates. Now, the first thing you want to do is unlock the key card, okay? And you get this just by doing the main mission. After the one called The Gathering, you should get a call from Jazir and he will give you the key card. Or it's lying around him somewhere, I think, on a table. But either way, you get it from doing the main mission. Each crate contains one of the experimental military blueprints, which you can use to upgrade your car to level 6. So they're definitely worth finding. Okay, so I've shown you guys on the map here exactly where they're all going to be just before I open them. Now, unfortunately, this game doesn't have any kind of coordinates, so it's very, very difficult to understand exactly where they are. But this one is, if you go on the train tracks, it's up at the top of the map, okay? So if you just follow the train tracks all the way to the end at the top, you will come across this, okay? So if you're struggling to figure out where you have to go from this video, that is where it is, okay? And then you just go inside, put the key card in, you have to pry it open, and inside you will get your experimental military blueprints. You'll also get some kind of unique gun, and you'll also get a few other things, including the King Weapon mod, which is very, very handy. The second one is just off of the train tracks, kind of in the middle of the map. Okay, you can hopefully make it out from this. And again, just like four of the other ones, this is some kind of military outpost, and you can find it inside one of the trucks on the highway. The next one, and the most out of way of all of them, is this one next to Bilal's garage. Okay, you just can go on the piece of road you can see that I'm at. And what you want to do is, next to these trucks, you look out into the water, you will see a small island. All you have to do is swim over to the island, and that is where the next crate is located. The next two are very simple to find. Again, we're on the railway, and in the very middle of the map, there is a bridge that at some point during a side mission becomes a safe zone, as you can see in my game. It might not be a safe zone for you guys. But it's a bridge, again, if you just follow the train tracks, you will have to come across it since there's only one railway. And it's located in the first train cart as you come up to it. The final crate is located, again, on the train tracks, right at the very bottom of the map. So we have one at the top of the map, one in the middle, one at the bottom. One of them is just off of the train tracks and there's one on an island. So they're all pretty easy to find. So you can get at least four of them very, very quickly. Okay, and this one, all you have to do is go down to the bottom of the train tracks. And again, it's located in one of two train carts. So all you have to do now is loot loads of different cars for all the different parts and upgrade your vehicles. Alright guys, as always, I hope this has been a quick and easy guide to follow. If it has, let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.